To find this information, we will use the Assignment Cross-Reference Table. To begin, right-click on the Blocks folder, select Reference Data, and click Display. From the Customize window, click the Assignment Radio button, and click OK. This view shows what inputs, outputs, memories, S7 timers, and S7 counters are in use in your code. As higher numbered addresses are used, the numbers in the view will expand. Let's take a tour of the inputs, outputs, and bit memory column. X is to note what bits are used in the code. If a byte is in use, you will see a dark line in the byte column, such as memory byte 87 and memory byte 100. If a word is in use, there will be a dark line in the word column, such as memory word 100, which includes memory byte 100 and memory byte 101. If a memory double word is in use, there will be a dark line next to the four bytes. There are several here, so let's look at the memory double word 96, which includes bytes 96, 97, 98, and 99. You will also notice overlapping memory accesses here. For instance, memory byte 100 is accessed, memory word 100 is accessed, and memory double word 98 is accessed, as well as the bits 100.0 and 100.5. This does not necessarily indicate a problem and is fairly common to see. However, this only shows you what is being accessed and not how it is being used. You can check the general cross-references list to see how they are used. Now click the filter button. You can filter data here similar to the other reference data tables. We will deselect inputs, memories, and timers. We will filter to see only counters and outputs 4 through 8. Click OK. And here is the filtered view. This concludes the video.